Hi, everybody. Going to do a what am I wearing and why. Uh, so today I'm wearing an Armory Model 6 double-breasted suit, and this is in our Harbor Breeze cloth. So this is a high-twist, lightweight cloth that we developed for Hong Kong summers. Um, it's very comfortable in this sort of weather. Uh, I'm wearing an Ascot Chang shirt, an old Drake's tie, and the Armory Broadway loafers, which is kind of our slip-on style loafer. A um, couple things I wanted to talk to you about in this outfit today, because if we're going to talk about the why, I probably shouldn't have worn this suit. It was pouring with rain today, and I got caught in the rain. And while most of the suit is fine, uh, the part that wasn't covered by the umbrella, which is really like from about here on down, um, really lost its crease. You know, and it's a good reminder for why it's always worth trying to make sure your trousers are pressed, because even just losing that last kind of 10 centimeters of crease on your trousers, especially at the cuff, right? like has just made the trouser feel a little bit too floppy and sweat panty down there, you know? Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, socks. Because I know a lot of you have asked like, oh, what socks should I wear? How do I match it? Um, I would defer to Antonio Liverano. I think Antonio gave us all really good advice years ago when he said, don't think about socks, just wear navy socks. And you know, he's kind of right. Like navy socks are something that work 99% of the time, you know. Um, they might not match exactly with anything you're wearing, but they'll never look bad or wrong or anything like that. So I have more navy socks in my wardrobe than anything else, and they've always been a good go-to for me. In fact, I should probably um, mention, so the socks I'm wearing now are the, um, the Tabio cotton socks with a little dot pattern on it, so it's just like a little bit of extra visual interest. But see, like I've got gray trousers, black shoes, and the navy socks don't feel, you know, wrong or out of place. Like, they still feel quite appropriate for the outfit. And I find that even with, like, lighter tones with brown tones, that navy color still works. Whereas if I had, say, a black sock or a gray sock, it wouldn't be quite as interesting. Um, for the wrist check today, I've got the SBGV019. So this was a Grand Seiko reissue of an old Grand Seiko back from the 60s called the 57GS, the self-dater. So the self-dater was the first Grand Seiko to have a date window, and they reissued this a couple years ago um, in quartz rather than in mechanical. Um, I love it. You know, quartz might be a little bit kind of looked down upon, but I think they're great. They're super accurate. They're super reliable, and they go forever and ever and ever without having to be wound. So it's a nice, like, uh, go-to watch that I haven't actually put on in a little while. I'm glad to have kind of dug it out of the safe today. Alrighty. Oh, and also, you might have noticed the quality of this video is better than what we've been doing for, well, since we started. Um, so we are actually shooting now with a Fuji X-T3 and a much larger gimbal and also a lav mic um, rather than a little shotgun mic. So if you feel like the quality of this video seems like noticeably better and you'd like to see more production this way, um, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.